I've been here too long not to realize the shining stars in your eyes. Your eyes, your eyes. If there's a gravity, I'm rushing to you. Cause all I want is your heart. Your heart, your heart. Falling to the sky. without feeling awkward it's so weird i'm like talking to nobody okay get over it get over it get over it okay you know what hi i'm gonna show you where i bought everything from my apartment okay <laughs> a lot of people also want to see like a full apartment tour and I was gonna do that, except everything that's not inside my room is basically just like a dumping grounds for all the boxes and packaging and shit for all the stuff that I've unboxed in this room. So I don't know that I want to show you that yet, but I haven't decided, so maybe at the end I'll throw in a couple clips. So starting with like the vanity that I'm sitting at now, a lot of people were asking me about how I did this because I know that a lot of like actual vanity mirrors can be quite expensive. Um, a lot of people were wondering where I got my vanity from and honestly if you look really closely it's like kind of ratchet. It's definitely not like as sleek and pristine as an actual vanity mirror would be. I think it does the job like I think if you don't look that closely it obviously looks fine. So this desk I got from Ikea. I don't remember what the name is called so I'll just leave the links in the description box and then you can just check them out yourself. Also please don't add up everything that I've put in the description box because it's probably horrifying and I've actually avoided doing that. So the drawer unit, obviously, if you're in like, if you're at all involved in the beauty community on YouTube, everybody fucking has this drawers, the Alex drawers. The brush holder is from Target. Um, I think I'm actually thinking about putting some like beads or like little stones. Like, you know how people like fancy people put like beads at the bottom of their brush holder so that they can stick it in. I think I'm going to do that because the bottom of the brushes look a little strange. Some of the glass um, containers for my q-tips and cotton rounds, they're just from Ikea, they're like random ass jars. Um, and then the jewelry holder I bought a long time ago on Amazon, and then the acrylic like razor that kind of like um, pushes everything aside and allows me to put like my little glass jars um, underneath my jewelry holder that is from the container store. In terms of the actual vanity mirror itself, the mirror is actually from Ikea. I want to say it was not that expensive, um, but I liked that it, it was white and that it had like enough of a frame for me to be able to mount it onto the wall. And then the vanity lights themselves are actually from Amazon. When you're putting these on, you have to be careful because there's like a string attaching them and you don't want them to kind of be like angled at a certain way where it's not like straight along the edge of the mirror. There's one part where I've kind of fucked up um, and it doesn't look as nice as the other um, portions so you just kind of have to like twist them and make sure that they're like secured properly. But these lights I actually do really like. They're really really bright and I'm pretty sure they're LED so they don't heat up but I have seen some Amazon reviews saying that they like melted the bottom sticky part after like a long time. I don't really see um, why you would be leaving my mom for that long. So yeah, I really do like the setup. It's really helpful for when I'm doing my makeup in the dark, especially. I also got this separate, like, I'll just show you, a separate mirror um, that I just kind of put on the side here because when I'm doing my makeup, I like to kind of see things close up and then also like look at the mounted mirror to like see what it looks like from far away. So I got that from Ikea. The stool is from Target. I had some suspicions about getting like a white fluffy stool because it's obviously going to get dirty pretty quickly. Um, so I figured that I would just put a cute throw on it, this pink 
uh, throws, also from Target. In my drawers, in the app drawers themselves, I've organized my makeup um, in I think the first three drawers and then after that um, the next drawer is just a bunch of backups and extra makeup that I have and then the last drawer is like desk supplies for like my post-it notes and like extra pens and like random things like i have a deck of cards in there but to organize my makeup i got these um drawer organizers that you can customize the size of um off amazon and then i also put in this like non-slip insert onto the bottom so that things don't like slip around too easily and i got those from ikea now kind of moving on to, I guess, like behind me, this entire huge wall mirror um, is the Hobbit mirror from Ikea, and it's like a very well-known mirror. It's giant. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like 70 inches tall. It was $125 or something along those lines. I know that sounds really expensive for a mirror, and it is, but I did a lot, a lot, a lot of research on big mirrors like that, and honestly, it is the cheapest one that I was able to find um, for the size. I do think it's a really good investment, especially if you have a smaller space. Putting a mirror into a corner or any like empty area in your room instantly just opens up your room and makes it look a lot bigger. Also, having a really big mirror in your space is really helpful for reflecting light um, off of the window to illuminate your room if you feel like you have a relatively dark room. Putting more mirrors into your room um, is really going to help the light bounce off and then make your room look brighter than it might be if you didn't have a mirror, which is why I have literally like five mirrors in my entire room. At the bottom of the mirror, I put a bath mat. It's the same bath mat that's in my bathroom actually, but I wasn't originally planning on putting a bath mat there. I was just going to put the mirror there and just mount it. There's like secures that come with it where you can like secure it to the wall. Um, but I actually ended up just doing that because I put the bath mat there temporarily to kind of like get it out of the way, but then I realized that the like non-slip bottom of the bath mat is actually really really helpful for keeping the mirror in place and it's cute and white and fluffy so it's a really good quality bath mat by the way from ikea i don't remember if i said that then onto my bed so i had this whole vision for my bed i don't know why but i just really wanted a canopy bed i thought they looked so majestic and it does like i'm really happy with it i guess the only reason why i'm kind of like hesitant about it is because the drapes were a fucking nightmare <laughs> i hate the drapes i hate them so much i think they look good now but it honestly just took a lot of effort to get them to the point that they are at now i actually ended up getting the frame the mattress the sheets the pillows the duvet cover and the drapes all from Amazon. And then the pink accent pillow is from Target. Um, the side desks next to the beds are both from Ikea. I decided to get two and I'm actually gonna swap out this big gold floor lamp for another side lamp that matches the one um, on the other side. These lamps from Ikea are quite bright and I do like the look of them better than the floor lamp. I think the side lamps are honestly brighter than the floor lamp. Ah, uh, yes. Kind of moving on to like my one decorative corner in this entire room. This wall shelf, I actually was gonna buy off Amazon. It's been out of stock for a really long time. I know that it's like significantly cheaper. I'm pretty sure this one, this wall shelf from Ikea is like 120 something dollars. I think it looks good and it was fine in terms of like purpose, but you could easily get a very, very similar result just off of the one on Amazon, which I think is like 50 or $60. And then all the decorations on it are basically just things that I've accumulated or things that mean something to me. I think there's only like a few items that I like explicitly purchased. Um, the fake plants are from Ikea, so is the pot, um, and I bought those separately. I also bought the marble tray that holds my perfumes, which is more of a functional thing, if anything, because I was originally going to put it on my vanity, but it doesn't really fit. And I just like, after I put the makeup brushes on here, I figured that they're, they would be better put over there on display. The watering can, also from Ikea. Um, on top of the fake plants, I also got two real plants. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I'm now a plant mom. Thank you. Thank you so much. I ended up getting one succulent and one aloe vera plant, and I originally was going to put them on the wall shelf as well, but I think it looks good as it is now, and also they won't get as much sunlight there. That being said, I haven't really done any research like at all on what succulents need so maybe i'll move them 
Oh, and the rug on the floor, the faux fur rug, it's so, 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 so soft. The thing is, I've had a white fluffy rug before, but it got so dirty so quickly. And also, like, I shed like a fucking dog, so, like, my hair got all over it. And I ended up throwing that one out in my, in my dorm. But this one, the thing that got me about this one was that it's machine washable for one. And also, the, like, the furs aren't, like, the, what the furs, like, the little hairs aren't so long that my hair just gets like entangled in all the fur. It's like quite short. It feels like a nice washed dog, like a white, beautiful dog that's like soft and conditioned and like freshly washed and blow dried. Yeah, that's what the rug feels like. And it's from Ikea. I think it was relatively inexpensive given the size of the rug. And so I highly recommend that rug for sure. I might honestly get another one for the other side of my bed, but I mean, I'm only going to be using one side of the bed, so I don't understand why I keep trying to furnish the other side of the bed, but whatever. Anyway, is there anything else? Oh, I mounted my TV. Um, it was a process, and it kind of sticks out a little bit, which I don't love. And I don't love the dangly ass, like, black cord that's just hanging out. So I'm definitely going to get like a white cord, like it's just something that like you put your cord into and you stick to the wall and then it just like hides it because the cord runs through the thing. We do have a bigger one in the living room, so don't fret. Onto the bathroom. I don't really know how many people want to know about my bathroom because it doesn't look the best right now. I think the only like decoration thing that I've done is put two trays on both sides of the sink, which by the way, I don't know why I have a double sink, okay? I fully understand that it is just me, myself, and I in this apartment. Well, no, sorry. I do have a roommate, but she's not moving until later. I do understand that it is me, myself, and I in this room. So why will I need a double sink? I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I put two vanity trays out, um, and right now there's stuff on both of them because my sister is currently living with me, and so she has her stuff on one tray and then I have my stuff on the other tray. I also have more Q-tip and cotton round holders, mostly because I need those Q-tips when I wanna get out of the shower. Obviously you gotta clean your ears like a normal person would, but these Q-tips on my vanity are for when I'm doing my makeup. Like, you know, they're different. Like when I'm sitting here, I don't wanna go to the bathroom. When I'm naked in the shower, I don't wanna come out to my vanity, so. And then in the middle, I put this diffuser that I got from Target. Also highly, highly, highly recommend. It smells delicious. It's described as like jasmine and it's like an Asian thing. Um, but it smells mostly like jasmine and it smells really really good. So I highly recommend that diffuser I also have the bath mat from Ikea right in front of my shower because that thing is the softest thing ever um, And then the two blue bath mats in front of the sink directly are both from Target But honestly, I saw the exact same ones like the same style at Ikea I'm pretty sure for cheaper. I think I didn't like the colors of the Ikea one I think it didn't really match like the gray like cabinetry and stuff in my bathroom so you should check those out if you do want like a bath mat of that style. Other than that, I haven't organized like the drawers at all except inside the ones like directly in front of my sink. I just put some containers there, drawer organizers from the container store. They're just clear. They were like the cheapest ones, I'm pretty sure. Just to organize like my cotton rounds, my like nail polish stuff. In my closet, the only thing, oh no, there's a couple things in there. I guess, first of all, the all the hangers are from Amazon. It's just like the simple black velvet with the silver um, hanger part, like hardware. Um, and if I could suggest one thing to make your closet look very like clean is to hang everything that you have space for. I know that not everybody has like an insane amount of closet space like I do. Like honestly, I could probably fit a small child in there and they would be totally fine. But I do remember when I was living in my dorm, which I didn't have that much closet space in, hanging everything that I could and using the same hanger like the same looking hanger for all of your things really makes your closet look a lot more organized and clean so all the hangers are from amazon the white like buckets that i use to hold all of my tops are from ikea the story behind that is basically just that i was struggling for so 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 long on how to organize my tops because as i mean you can tell like all of my tops are like like for babies essentially <laughs> everything is like cropped or small or tight or like going out clothes and so like hanging them didn't really make sense i did consider getting like toddler sized 
hangers at some point. I just felt like that was kind of unnecessary. I didn't have that many tops to like go out and get individual hangers and so I just opted for just folding them into these little buckets which ended up working totally fine honestly. The smaller ones definitely help with like really really small like more like tube top type things or like tops like this where it's like when you fold it it like disappears in the thin air. The bigger ones are better for like more flowy tops and tops that have more like when you fold it it has more like girth you know so. I realized I forgot to talk about literally everything important in here so this mirror is from Ikea, this laundry hamper is from Target I think yeah and then this organizer I do not fucking recommend it was a bitch to put together it is from Ikea. Hopefully that was everything. I mean, yeah, it's honestly everything in my room. If you've made it this far, like, congratulations because editing the sound of my own voice is gonna be actually horrible. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Um, yeah, so that's literally everything that's in my room, I think. I really don't know what or when my next video is gonna be. I kind of feel ridiculous doing this, to be honest. Like, full transparency, this is not my forte. I think I'm more of like an Instagram influencer than I am like a YouTube influencer. Partly because I get really insecure because I think people are clicking out of my video like one minute in. Which is very rude. I don't know what's happening there. It's probably men who like expected it to be like something else and then they're like oh I don't want to know about what's in her room which is fair you know what that's fine that's fine everything's fine anyway that's it I'm gonna go now bye nope that's not what I want to say this is horrible this is actually a horrible video how long have I been filming for only 25 minutes something's wrong ah okay anyway that's all thanks uh, I should probably end it like normally, right?